Now we have the table, sales table with all the columns we need. Then we have the record, we have removed the headers. How we can store? Okay, so we can, we know that this is the array and we can use the for each. So we are going to say for each of data as uh, item or <laughs> what we can call it. Let's have the item. So here we all have the item and now I'm going to use a sales model. So why not create a controller? So let's create a controller. PHP Edson make a controller called sales controller. And here we go. And now I go to sales uh, controller. Here we are creating a function, public function uh, uh, called store. And this is going to store the data. Okay, so now uh, this is the upload. So I'm going to cut everything from here like this thing. And I will say this is going to be the sales controller. This is a level eight. So we don't have to give as a like a string. We want to give something like this. And then in a second argument, we want to give the function, which is a store function. Okay, so we have this post method and uh, we can create one more for index for index which is going to return a view and before I lose the clipboard I can just paste it here and then inside this I say uh, actually I can just do this. So return it and here I say once more sales controller. Uh, this is a class and I need the index function. Okay, so routes file is cleaned up and uh, now I can totally close this web.php routes file. Here we have the index returning the view. Is it going to work? Reload, go to upload. It's not working. Okay, so I think we have some issue somewhere. I think yes, here is the issue. And uh, reload, yep, it's working. now. Here's the store part. Here we are checking for the file. We are reading the file, removing the header. Then we want the sales model. So sales model is imported like here. And then I say, what I'm going to say, I'm going to say create, very simple. And I want to give all the data we have. But if you just diadem this thing, so I just say item, I just diadem item. Let's one more time upload 50k records, 50k records, upload. And yeah, you can see it's an array of a uh, simple array of items. So one is this, second is this, but I want the key and value pair. So how we can do that? We only have the header. So we can combine the two as a key and the value. So how we can do that? Instead of this, I can say array underscore combine first we'll give the key part so you can see first is the key and second is the value so key is the header and value is the i can call it value <laughs> so instead of item so value okay so we got this and now if i refresh you see all these things are now having its key so key is region value is sub sahara africa so whatever it is now since we have this thing so we can call it uh, sale okay so sale or we can call it sale data and then i create and i say create with the sale data i have okay here is going to be the real challenge and everything when everything is done i say uh, done wow very nice thing okay so yep we have this we are having the 50k record we are looping through all the 50k actually 49k or maybe 50k i don't know so 50k record i'm looping i'm creating inside the database and let's see what's going to happen okay this is going to be an interesting thing go to the upload choose a new file which is the 50k sales record click on upload and yeah we need to wait a lot why because it's uh, reading plus it's storing into the da database if you go refresh this database sales table you can see the data is increasing so now we have a 4000 then 5000 and uh, this is going to go on 
and this is going to upload uh, very very nicely so we need to wait and see how much record we can upload without <laughs> using any optimization or performance uh, things so let's wait for this now it says done that means all the records are in our database reload and yes it says 50k records is available inside the database i have not got any uh, like timeout kind of things maybe you could get because of some php.ini settings so what i'm going to do one more time i'm going to delete everything from this record and this time instead of choosing the 50k record i'm going to choose the 1 million record and yeah this is going to take so much time so i'm going to just wait for one minute or two minute maybe maximum then i will see how much record i get on our database and you can see now the database is getting the records that means it's now storing let's wait for this one and see this after two minutes of uploading process i got this message and uh, let's see how many records we have okay so 56000 records we have and we got this error now we need to do something so that we will not have uh, execution time overloaded and uh, also whenever we are trying to upload even the, with a 50k record also we are blocking the user for that particular amount of time so user cannot do anything until the uploading process is done we need to solve this problem first so let's solve this